Did we just discover an advanced alien civilization? I'm John Deere, and today we're talking about the announcement by Yale and Penn State astronomers that they found data consistent with an alien superstructure orbiting a distant sun. Today we're going to unpack that data and explain to you why it's so exciting. It all starts with the Kepler telescope, an observation platform launched into space in 2009 to search for alien planets. Kepler has scanned over 150,000 alien stars looking for orbiting planets. What it looks for specifically are minuscule dips in the light emitted from stars at regular intervals. This represents a planet passing on its regular orbit in front of the star, blocking a small amount of light. Since then, Kepler has identified hundreds of alien planets and thousands of potential additional candidates. In fact, it has generated so much data that NASA quickly requested help from citizen astronomers whom it invited to sift through all of this data. In 2011, this crowdsourced search group identified KIC 8462 as having unusual results. What Kepler recorded was this. These are data records showing irregular dips with the star dimming as much as 20% and sometimes staying dim for weeks. Planets don't behave like that. Even a Jupiter-sized planet causes only a minuscule drop in brightness. At the moment, there's no good natural explanation for this, but there is an unnatural one. All the way back in 1937, science fiction author Olaf Stapleton wrote The Star Maker, a novel in which he hypothesized that advanced alien cultures would build massive structures around their stars to capture more of the star's energy. The idea received a boost in 1960 when physicist Freeman Dyson theorized that alien civilizations would need more energy as they grew and their stars began to cool, so they would indeed build such structures. According to Dyson, we should look for the signatures of those structures if we want to find intelligent alien life. Those structures became known as the Dyson Sphere, or more accurately, the Dyson Swarm. A Dyson Swarm is a series of habitats built around a star to capture its energy. These would be akin to large artificial satellites orbiting the star. With enough of them, they would block light from the star. Yale astronomer Tabitha Boyajian led a team to study this crazy data. They quickly confirmed the accuracy of the data and then eliminated all known natural causes. In over 150,000 stars, no data like this has shown up anywhere. Boyajian hypothesized one possible explanation, but it would require split-second timing to capture the data at exactly the right time and seems highly unlikely. Realizing she was studying something special, Boyajian alerted Jason Wright an astronomer with the University of Pennsylvania who works for NASA and others, locating possible habitable alien worlds. Wright and his team analyzed the data, after which he announced, we have in KIC 8462, a system with all of the hallmarks of a Dyson Swarm, aperiodic events of almost arbitrary depth, duration, and complexity. In other words, this data fits what Freeman Dyson predicted, alien megastructures built around a star. Now to be sure, neither of these astronomers nor anyone else is saying it actually is that. What they are saying is that it could be, and that's exciting. Astronomers from SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, are also involved and all of them are trying to get telescopes to aim at Kepler 8462 to study it further. Dyson predicted that such structures would emit substantial amounts of infrared heavy light waves, and these telescopes are capable of searching for just that. So the answer to the question of whether we've just discovered an advanced alien race living around a distant star is maybe, just maybe. If you like this episode, please subscribe. It's what keeps us alive. I'm John Deere, and as always, Thanks for watching.